Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Thank you so much for joining us for the latest news and weather where you live. I'm Tiffany Lee. And I'm Joe Ellison. The Razorbacks are in Little Rock right now getting ready for the first football game of the season. If you're heading out to War Memorial Stadium today for kickoff, it's at 630 this evening and there are a few things to know. There will be big fans on each side of the stadium and smaller ones throughout the concourse. That will be in front of every concession stand. And there is a free water station inside the stadium with cups. Now, the stadium has also increased its network for ticket scanners and hopes to help with downloading speed for scanners to upload those tickets. John Lash, manager of War Memorial, says they've made these improvements in hopes to let everyone sit back, relax, and call those hogs. It's a big game for us and it's really important to us and uh, we want to encourage our fans to come out this year and uh, enjoy the game and, and have a great, uh, wonderful experience and uh, continue those War Memorial great memories. Well, as you head to Central Arkansas today, know that traffic could be heavy at times along I-40, but the Arkansas Department of Transportation says they're going to try to keep construction from holding you up. They plan to put all of those construction projects on hold just for a few days. We will work with the contractors they're always really good about it to have no full lane closures because of construction uh really anytime from thursday afternoon night through tuesday morning after labor day to get people uh you know monday night to get back RDOT says that they think traffic will be the heaviest along I-49 and I-40 this afternoon. With it being Labor Day weekend, traffic could be heavy, so make sure you leave early enough to get to the game on time. But we'll get to more news in just a minute. Yeah, before we do, let's send things over to Bella for a look at that game day forecast. Well, it's looking to be a good one. We are going to warm up this afternoon. High humidity value is going to make things feel even hotter than our actual temperatures are showing. So while we're peaking around 96 in Fort Smith, 94 in Fayetteville, what's it actually feeling like? Closer to 97 in Fayetteville, 101 in Fort Smith. Hundreds across the River Valley is what we're expecting. We're going to stay in the 90s in northwest Arkansas. Should stay a little bit cooler, but for most of Arkansas, we're watching out for a few scattered showers popping up af this afternoon. Those should clear out pretty quickly around game time, but if we see a few of those, not out of the question, they're going to be pretty short-lived. Could come with some lightning and thunder, some wind gusts, but relatively just quick moving, short little showers, going to water your lawn and move out. We are watching that about 5 o'clock. You're seeing a few of those little spots here and there. Those could be popping up out around Little Rock as well, but most of them are going to be moving through very quickly. We're going to clear out overnight tonight before more rain rolls in by tomorrow. A cold front coming through and bringing in some showers into the evening hours of Friday afternoon and evening, continuing into Saturday scattered showers and becoming more widespread as we get later into the day on Saturday. So if you've got plans outside for your Labor Day weekend, maybe time to pack an umbrella or get out the raincoats because you're likely going to need them. Our temperatures are taking a dip as well as we start to see that cold front drop in, bringing the rain weather impact alert for Friday and Saturday because of our increased rain chances going to disrupt some of our holiday weekend plans. You can see 80s are coming in and sticking around into early next week. All right, thanks so much, Bella. Well, another Arkansas amendment proposal might not make it on the November ballot. Carter Thweet tells us about a lawsuit that could throw a wrench for the casino initiative. Our ballot question committee turned in uh, over 162,000 signatures in support of our amendment uh, to the Constitution. That amendment would require communities to hold a special election before allowing a casino to come to town. It'll be on the November ballot, but a recent lawsuit wants to make sure any votes for it aren't counted. It happened with respect to the abortion amendment, and it's happening with respect to the proposed casino amendment, which would take the license away from Pope County. The lawsuit was filed August 1st by a group called the Arkansas Canvassing Compliance Committee, which was formed that same day. It claims that local voters in charge who sponsored the amendment broke a few rules in their pursuit of signatures. First, they are alleging a lot of misconduct in terms of the signature gatherers misrepresenting what the uh, proposal would do. That's legal expert Joshua Silverstein, and he says on that first part of the lawsuit, we'll have to wait and see what evidence is produced. But the second part is a little different. 
what is being argued is that the wrong people signed the certification, that it wasn't the members of the actual ballot committee, local voters in charge, it was the firm that hired the signature gatherers that signed the certifications. Silverstein says local voters in charge argued that those firms signed the certifications legally as agents of the group. He says he's skeptical. But I think there's a really good argument that the agency argument made by the ballot committee is not going to work. The Arkansas Supreme Court is currently hearing arguments from both sides. That trial began Tuesday. Well, neither local voters in charge or the canvassing compliance committee were able to give on camera interviews with the trial ongoing. However, they did boast in statements on the lawsuit. Yeah, you can read both of those statements on our website, 5newsonline.com. But for now, thank you so much for joining us here on this game day Thursday. Catch up with us for more tomorrow. Have a great day.